welcome back to my channel you guys if you have never been here before good job stumbling upon this video today I've got a fun two-in-one kind of a video so I showed you how to do this Kevin Luong inspired makeup as well as how I put on this wig and laid this wig down so if you want to see and you're interested in that definitely keep watching and let's just yeah let's just jump into it you can like it and subscribe first if you want though but we'll jump into it every time I see you get a feeling like I'm so hot tell me am I dreaming how the hell you looking so flat I just got a meeting when I looked at you today I got problems baby and I need you to save me I have already primed with a little bit of my P. Louise eyeshadow base so I'm first gonna start off with the Milani Outlaw, something outlaw. Outlaw, outlaw all of a little drugstore palette that I got. And I'm going to go into this deep brown and we're gonna put that everywhere. I'm gonna take this flat brush and I'm actually gonna go in with this e.l.f. eyeshadow. I couldn't tell you what the name is or anything. And it's got like a little bit of like this brown shimmery kind of a color. And I'm going to swipe that on the inner part of the lid first. So what I'm going to do is go in with my liner and I'm going to use the Sex Kitten Liner by Tarte. And it's got two ends so it's perfect. So it's got a little smudgy end and then it's got a regular pencil. So I am going to take this and I'm going to start to make kind of like this angle here. The smudger is perfect. And then what I'm going to do is take my Kat Von D liner in the color Trooper. And I'm going to kind of tight line and I'm going to make a little inner corner point. So I'm not going to actually make a wing. I'm just going to kind of create that little angle. Take a little mascara and let's just... All right, so he also does like really nice thick like mink lashes and whatnot. I don't have any, so I just double stacked a couple of lashes, which kind of will give me about the same effect, I think. Okay, so moving on to complexion. I'm gonna actually use a different kind of product. I'm gonna use the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Pure Luxury Lift and Firm Prism Cream as my, ooh, that package is cute. I'm gonna use this as my primer. I have used it before but it's been a while. You look like a little disco ball. <laughs> That's okay. okay. I'm gonna do though, obviously, cause y'all know me, is color correct. I'm gonna use my NYX color correcting little palette because this mark is crazy. I'm not freaking out quite yet for some reason because I feel like I still can, like it's still healing so I'm hoping it's not going to stay that dark. So then what I'm going to do is take a little fluffier brush and I'm going to take a little bit of the orange and a little bit of the yellow and I'm going to buff this a little bit lower under my eye. I'm not going to put it all the way all the way in the crease because it probably is just going to do that and crease. So 
so I just kind of put it under here. That's just going to help brighten. Also, we're going to smoke out the lash line so it doesn't even make sense to cover up the darkness, but we're just going to put it back. So I am going to use my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation in the color Deep Sand. I'm going to squeeze a little onto my little palette here. And I haven't used this in a while, so I'm hoping the color <laughs> still matches. So let's go in with this Morphe brush and yeah. Okay, so moving on to concealer, I'm going to start off with my Julia's Place concealer in the color 9. I can never, I never remember if it's like a 9 or a 6. I'm going to start with 9. is such a liquidy kind of concealer I am gonna let this dry and while I'm letting this dry I'm going to go in with my soul body but my soul body bronzing balm in the color deep and I am just going to start working that in blends out so beautifully and so easily that it's almost like it almost requires like no effort I do not have a snatch of jawline and or chin so we're faking it right now go in with, not a secret, my Dior concealer. don't do y'all I'm actually bake so I'm gonna go in with my Morphe banana powder I'm gonna go in with that same sponge Dippity. sit for a hot sec y'all not too too long but like a little bit so then what I'm gonna do is go in with my uh, makeup revolution glow bronzer in the color dark start back here now, 
Not gonna lie, we're gonna go a tiny bit heavy with the bronzer. fluffy brush and let's just dust this away. This is why I don't bake, because we're looking a little bit dry. Let's take the Milk Hydro Grip Setting Spray and kind of add some. So for blush, I'm going to use my NARS stick in the color G-Spot, perhaps. And I'm just going to take a flat top brush here. And let's just add just a... Alright, so I'm going to go in with my Sephora lip liner in the color Molasses. Ski, molasses. Molasses. And let's just line with that first. P. Louise base. Everything. I am just gonna still add a little bit of the Fenty Glow Gloss Balm Cream. There we go. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the hair portion. All right, so. <laughs> It's so crazy to be like on camera like this. So anyway, I have my wig cap on. So I'm just gonna grab my wig. So this is the wig. This is a 24 inch HD 5x5 closure wig from Eunice Hair. See her? All right, so I have already bleached the knots. I have washed it. I've sectioned out what I am probably gonna use for baby hair. Kind of all of that. I'm just gonna put this bad boy on. You tip my head over. Pop it right in there. Call it day. All right, so. So what she's looking like. All right, so I did put conceal on the part. Now looking at it, I feel like I put a little bit too much, but I'll show you how to fix that. It's not like a big deal at all. All right, so all I'm gonna do is take some hairspray. So I'm gonna take Two different hairsprays. So I am going to use my Aussie Mega Hole or Mega Hairspray, which is actually a flexible hole one. And then I'm going to use a little bit of my Control Force from Aveda. You say what you want about Aveda, this Control Force is the business. So I am just going to give this a little spray. As you see, this is a little bit sectioned off that I'm probably going to use as my baby hair. On hot and hot. Okay, and I'm gonna take my Aussie and do the same thing. a tiny bit I'm really not worried about it because usually I'll just go in with like a spoolie and a little bit of hair dye and just go for it but 
I'm lazy right now. So I'll show you how I fix that. I usually just take an eyeliner that is waterproof and I'll take a spoolie. Super simple fix and I'll show you after I'm done laying the baby hairs and doing all the stuff in the front. Okay, and then I'm just going to So then what I'm going to do is take a little mousse right here, take my ratchet little toothbrush and we're just going to get this bit here and let's just blow it. hot comb be very careful because I have like I don't even know if y'all can see the scar but I have a scar over there because I always burn myself with a hot comb so then what I'm going to do is first kind of take this section I'm going to go backwards Oops, see ah, it's okay so much better okay so then I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other side and then I'm going to give this a nice streak and then what I like to do which is kind of just a personal preference is I don't like my wig super 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 flat so I'm gonna section out a piece here and then I'll take a little bit of hairspray hairspray the root just a bit. I'll wait a sec for it to kind of dry. And then I'm going to take my flat iron and I clamp it kind of straight and then I'll bend it over. Then I have like a tiny bit of like volume at the root and I just feel like that looks a lot more realistic. So.
And that's what I like about using, personally, a flexible hold hairspray. Because I feel like you just have better control over like what exactly you're trying to do. So actually, fun fact, I've done like frontals, closures, blah, blah, blah. I have never actually done a five by five. So now I'm gonna zoom you out because I'm gonna flat iron, so. Okay, let me tell y'all what I like to flat iron my hair with. So I like to blow dry it with the Chi um, Straight Guard. So I like that, especially because it's a thicker product. And then I like to hairspray, or I like to use the Silk Element Silken I like to use the Silk Elements Strength and Silk Thermal Silk Styler, which is this serum. And this stuff is amazing. And then after I finish it off with just for a little bit of shine, the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Anti Frizz Serum. So. Yeah, so this is how the whole makeup look end up coming out. Hopefully, I did Kevin some justice. Hopefully, it looks like maybe he snatched my face. I don't know. Maybe I like do the pose, you know? <laughs> so yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, definitely leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Hopefully, he doesn't drag me. Uh, yeah, and then on your way out, hit that notification bell to turn on the notifications after you subscribe. And other than that, I will see you guys in the next video.